Hello girls, this is a lesson on characteristics of enzyme. It's a continuation from my le previous lesson. So here I would like to uh, you to look at the eight characteristics of enzyme. Okay, so let's look at your textbook, which is on page uh, 87. So number one, let's start with here. Okay, number one, enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up biochemical re reactions. Okay, so the keyword here is biological Catalyst, we have already seen what it means, right? Catalyst means something that makes reactions happen at a faster rate, and biological means that they are formed in living cells. So, enzymes are all proteins actually, okay? So, all the enzymes are actually made up of uh, substances which actually uh, incorporate amino acids, so they are proteins. Okay, secondly, enzymes act rapidly, okay? Number three, Enzymes are only required in small quantities and are reusable. Okay, this means that the enzyme in the reaction itself, the enzyme does not get destroyed. So the enzyme, after the reaction is over, the enzyme can still be reused for another reaction to break down another substance. Okay, I mean the same type of substance but a different molecule. Okay, so okay, number four, the structure of the enzymes remain unchanged and are not destroyed after a reaction, unaltered. Okay. So this is also explains why. It explains why the enzymes are needed in small quantities. Because the enzymes are not used up, but uh, they are released at the end of the reaction. And the same enzyme molecule can process a large number of substrate molecules. Okay, so that means it can be reused again to uh, break down further substrates. Okay, number five. The reaction of enzymes are what we call specific. Okay. Uh, only a specific substrate that can fit the remember the active site the specific uh, structure there the shape there only the substrate that can fit the form completely okay with an enzyme in the active site can combine so that means it's very important that you must have the correct enzyme that can well, uh, only then you can uh, break down a certain substance so this is what we call a lock and key hypothesis. Later we will see in the next lesson what does it mean by lock and key. So here you see because of the shape, uh, the active site is very specific in the shape. So other substances will not have the same shape. So they cannot fit into the active site. Therefore, it will not have the reaction. Okay, number six. Most of the reactions catalyzed by enzymes are reversible. That means the same enzyme can um, affect the reaction. Otherwise, means either to form it or to break down for example a plus b you need this enzyme x all right to break to uh, to form c and d and reversely c and d can also be broken down to get a and b and this is the same enzyme okay so they can uh, catalyze specific reactions both in the forward and the reverse direction okay number seven Enzymes activity can be slowed down or stopped by enzyme inhibitors. So inhibitors are substances which actually will slow down, okay, or can stop the work, work the reaction of enzyme, the work of the enzyme, the action of the enzyme. So example things that can do that are these heavy metals such as lead or mercury, which we uh, consider as like poisons. Okay, so they actually will slow down the uh, biochemical reactions inside the cell. Okay, number eight. Some enzymes need cofactors. Okay, cofactors are usually ions, okay, or elements which can actually uh, help to enhance the enzymes in their process. That means to help the enzyme to work better. So an example of cofactor is vitamin B, magnesium ion, and other types of uh, ions, for example, ferrum and zinc and so on. Alright, okay, I'll stop here first.